Anyway, Sambo here. Just having a bit of a clean up, a rough clean up at this stage, get all this old varnish off of this saw handle. Just using a fine flap sander. This is a 30mm one. I got that so that I could get inside the hole in the handle like that. I'll just roughly hand sand this down and get all this lacquer off. And then I'll go over it by hand with a finer sandpaper. Well that's the rough sanding done, a few little bits of lacquer left, left there in some of the tighter spots, but now I can get to it, sand it by hand and just clean it all up. Alright, just going to have a bit of a go at polishing this blade up. I've cleaned all the wax off that I put on there. Just gave it a wash down with some soapy water. Let's see how we get on. You can see it's fairly effective, also seems fairly aggressive, so I'll try a flat sander. That seems to be working. Still fairly aggressive, but I'll be able to go over it with something finer. So anyway, I'll get on with the job. And I'll come back with an update. Not sure how well you can see it here, but there's some fairly substantial pitting in places where the rust was. Anyway, it's looking a lot better than what it was two days ago. So we're going to keep sanding for a bit, see if we can get some of these scuff marks out. I'm just going over the handle now with a bit of 180 grit sandpaper. Just to, have, just to take out the marks that the flat sander has left. Well, I'm done sanding that. It's a bit fiddly around these parts here. I've got it done, it's cleaned up nicely. Nice and smooth. Feels good in the hand. The saw's like a million dollars compared to what it was. So let's say twenty dollars. I've got myself a nice saw. And even though it's fairly pitted. I 
I think by the time I get it sharpened up, I'll have a sword that'll last me the rest of my life. So anyway, that'll do for part two. Part three will just be a quick update. Once I've got the saw sharpened, I'll put it back together and then we'll give it a test run. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.